Overlord Susan's done it again. YouTube's changing the rules and removing timeless classics from the platform to protect content creators from cancel culture this morning as multiple YouTuber exposés begin to vanish from the platform in light of YouTube's updates to the harassment policy. This is PNN. I'm Alistair and I'll be your newsbreaker for today while we settle into the flow of E! News and juicy internet drama. So stick around and stay subscribed if you want to see news from people who actually give a shit and maybe consider dinging that bell down there to get the news first. Now, I'm a little new around here, so go easy on me when I hit you with the hard hitters. Trust me, it hurts for me too. Earlier today, YouTube tweeted out some stricter anti-bully changes to their harassment policy to curb both cancel culture and your enthusiasm regarding critically targeted exposés that threaten to promote hate speech on the platform. The tweet states they consulted creators, organizations, and experts regarding criticisms they faced all around and now no longer allow material that maliciously insults people based on traits like gender identity, race, appearance, as well as sexual orientation. Makes sense, but that's not all. Threats of implied violence that simulate or suggest violent harm towards someone can now lead towards severe penalties on those brushing up against the threshold, risk having their partnership revoked on the platform with the possibility of channel termination if deemed pushing the policy's limits. And yes, this is effective immediately. You may have already noticed some big creators have already been hit with the new policy as classics like the content cop on Leafy is here is gone from iDubbbz's channel. It was Ian's second most viewed video with well over 38 million views next to his critique on rice gum, which may very well be next on the chopping block. But the list goes on. Paul Watson's introspective look at modern values in his social commentary with over 1.5 million views bit the dust this morning, along with Gokunaru's critical analysis of H3H3's shift in public reception, also boasting well over 1.3 million views. It's likely more to follow unless creators act fast. Twitter's been blowing up with a mix of creators joining the discussion. Tommy C reached out to Leafy to get a response on the removal of Ian's video that railed him, and Leafy was shocked. It's possible the likes of controversial comments made by Steven Crowder may have factored into these changes, as Julie Alexander, a writer for The Verge, speculates. YouTube may retroactively cleanse the platform of some of its golden years for creative entertainment to meet these new regulations. As Leon Lush puts it, this could very well be the digital equivalent of literally wiping years of history away. I gotta agree with him. We've already seen the timeless classics vanish not too long ago, including the infamous hair cake. Correspondent Nicholas Diorio raises a good question for those at YouTube HQ. Will they enforce the same strict repercussions on their beloved late night talk show hosts, or presumably continue to play favorites as usual? Nerd City was a bit more direct without beating around the bush. He says the policy is just messy, and while its intentions are good, it protects people at the expense of censoring criticism while our dear pal Ricky Berwick had this to say. Thank you for being my second mom and dad. I appreciate it. I never had second parents before telling me what to do, what to say, how to act, how to be. Fuck you! It's going to be interesting to see how exactly YouTube will determine which videos cross the line on overstepping this policy change and what gets wrongfully removed or rightfully removed, such as YouTubers who smell like onions with a career built on trashing people for the lulls while getting investigated by the FBI. If you've been affected by YouTube's recent change and you think your content was wrongfully removed, we'd like to hear about it. Let us know by reaching out to us via our socials in the description box below. If you want to know more about this article and what it entails, you can find a link to our queen where she writes in her blog post about how this policy is intended to affect creators, link below. Stay subscribed for more developments and incoming stories here on PNN. My name's Alistair, and thank you for letting me break it to you here first. Take care.